Hey guys, Jonas here back again with a VIP video on a topic called adjustment blending, which is a technique introduced by a guy called Daniel Lowe on a GDC conference some time ago. And let's just dive right into it and see what it's about. So say I want to have a idle animation and I want to do a right turn in place and then end up in that exact same pose. So what that usually means is that you're going to take a right turn animation and then uh, post match uh, this animation. Uh, so for this, I'm just using a kind of good example here coming from Mixamo because it's not matching up with the third person uh, character at all. Um, so I just brought this uh, into Motion Builder. It's looking like this. And I also brought in the idle animation, which contains my uh, my ref reference pose, which I have already here. So what I do is just to grab this pose. It's kind of standard. And then I apply this to my animation layer one here on the first frame, like that, and set a full body key, and then scroll to the end and apply it again, and set a key. So this is basically just what we do normally, I guess, or something similar. So what it also do does is to introduce foot sliding in this case, uh, but generally it's gonna do something with your contact points, which are gonna be drifting a little bit, depending on your interpolation. And what uh, just not blending basically does is to fix all of this for you. So if I execute my script here, which is uh, right now hard coded a little bit, you're just gonna get this right out of the box just by clicking this button here. So as you can see, this takes away a lot of this manual work of having to clean up the curves afterwards. And all I just need to do from here on is merge my layers and plot my um, keys to the skeleton and then export it. And then it's ready to go into Unreal. Um, so, yeah, as I said, it's a work in progress because I have a lot of edge cases I still don't handle, and in particular, it's things like hyper extension and cases where the base animation doesn't have too much motion, um, but my adjustment layer does. So, that kind of stuff I'm not handling at all at this moment here. In case you're interested in motion, uh, Python scripting inside Motion Builder in particular, um, I can suggest you go check out this guy called Alex Forsyth, or Forsythia, yeah, I don't know how to pronounce his name. He did some really nice videos um, some time ago on Python scripting inside Motion Builder, very well explained. Um, so go check those out. Anyway, uh, that's actually what I had for this video. I hope this is going to be nice and interesting. And so stay tuned for more and be seeing you. Bye bye.